Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. Since returning at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns has not competed in an official match. A WWE analyst recently predicted he would go head-to-head -head with a former champion at Bad Blood. The superstar in question is none other than Solo Sokoa. Reigns' former enforcer took control of the bloodline during the original Tribal Chief's four-month absence following WrestleMania XL. The former NXT North American champion has since proclaimed himself the new Tribal Chief and claimed Reigns would have to acknowledge him. However, the latter has targeted Sokoa and his associates since his return. While discussing the Bloodline storyline on his Cheap Heat podcast, WWE analyst Peter Rosenberg wondered if Reigns would have a match at Bash in Berlin. He claimed booking the original Tribal Chief against Sokoa at the upcoming premium live event would be a rush. However, he predicted that the two would go head-to-head -head at Bad Blood, the more logical, if you care about the title at all, and I mean name, not belt, then Bad Blood would be the thing that makes sense for Roman and Solo, he said. From 2321 to 2333, the Bloodline destroyed Roman Reigns on WWE SmackDown last Friday on SmackDown. Roman Reigns brawled with Solo Sokoa inside the ring in an attempt to regain the Ula Fala. After taking out his former enforcer and Tama Tonga, the original tribal chief momentarily retrieved the Bloodline's leadership symbol and wore it. However, Reign's happy moments were short-lived as he got viciously attacked by a returning Jacob Fatu. After the Samoan werewolf destroyed the former undisputed WWE Universal Champion in the ring, he, Tonga, and Sokoa put him through the announcement table. They then dragged him to the ring and stood over his body. It would be interesting to see how Roman Reigns would deal with this and whether he would acquire help from the original Bloodline members, the Usos and Sami Zayn, as many expect. The WWE Universe is buzzing with anticipation as bad blood draws closer, promising to deliver one of the most electrifying nights in sports entertainment history. But nothing has sparked more intrigue than the announcement of a first-time-ever match between Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief and current undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and a former champion who is making his return to the main event scene. WWE analyst and commentator Corey Graves has weighed in on the upcoming battle, predicting that this clash will not only be a match for the ages, but could also redefine the legacies of both superstars involved. The announcement heard round the WWE Universe the shocking announcement came during a special edition of the Grayson Waller Effect, where Roman Reigns, accompanied by his special counsel Paul Heyman and Solo Sokoa, was expected to address his future plans after narrowly retaining his title at SummerSlam. Waller, ever the provocateur, teased the audience with the idea of a new challenger stepping up to the plate, someone who has never faced Reigns in singles competition. Roman, you've beaten the best of the best. You've conquered legends, you've dominated former champions. But there's one man who you've never faced, one man who might just be your equal, Waller said, his words dripping with anticipation. The arena was electric with speculation, and the tension only mounted as Waller introduced the man who would challenge Reigns at Bad Blood, AJ Styles. The crowd erupted as Styles' music hit, signaling the arrival of the Phenomenal One himself, who hadn't been seen in WWE since suffering a brutal injury earlier in the year. Styles, looking more determined than ever, marched to the ring and stared down the Tribal Chief, setting the stage for what would be a dream match for wrestling fans worldwide. A phenomenal challenge AJ Styles, a former WWE champion and one of the most decorated performers in the business has long been considered one of the few who could realistically challenge Reigns' dominance. Known for his technical prowess, high-flying abilities, and unmatched ring psychology, Styles is the epitome of what it means to be a world-class wrestler. But despite his impressive resume, he has never crossed paths with Roman Reigns in a one-on-one -on -one match, making this encounter all the more intriguing. Corey Graves, who has followed both men's careers closely, offered his insight during an episode of After the Bell. He praised Styles' return and highlighted the unique challenges he poses to Reigns. AJ Styles is not just any former champion, he's the phenomenal one for a reason. 
His speed, agility, and experience make him a dangerous opponent for anyone, even Roman Reigns, Graves stated. Roman has never faced anyone quite like AJ, and that unpredictability could be the key to AJ's success. Graves went on to explain that while Reigns has faced high-caliber opponents during his historic title reign, names like Brock Lesnar, John Cena, and Edge, none of them possess the unique blend of styles, pun intended, that AJ brings to the table. The WWE analyst believes that this match could push Roman to his absolute limits, forcing him to adapt in ways he hasn't had to before. The Tribal Chief's response Roman Reigns, never one to shy away from a challenge, responded to the announcement with his usual air of confidence, though a hint of wariness was detectable in his tone. Standing in the ring, with the roar of the crowd echoing around him, Reigns locked eyes with Styles, who had taken up a position on the opposite side. You think you can just waltz back in here and take what's mine? I run this business. I am the head of the table, and no one, not even someone as phenomenal as you, can stop me, Reigns declared, his voice steady but intense. The confrontation ended without physicality, but the tension between the two was palpable. It was clear that both men were already strategizing for the battle ahead, knowing full well that this match could be career-defining for both of them. The stakes at Bad Blood Bad Blood is shaping up to be one of the most significant events in WWE history, and the match between Roman Reigns and AJ Styles is undoubtedly the crown jewel of the night. For Reigns, this match is about solidifying his legacy as one of the greatest champions of all time. His title reign has already surpassed expectations, but a victory over someone like Styles would further cement his status as an all-time great. For AJ Styles, this match is about redemption and proving that he still belongs at the top of the card. After spending months on the sidelines due to injury, Styles is eager to remind everyone why he's considered one of the best in the world. A win over Reigns would not only give him the championship, but also reestablish him as a dominant force in WWE. Corey Graves, ever the analyst, summed it up perfectly, this isn't just a match, this is a battle for supremacy. Both men have so much to gain, but also so much to lose. Whoever walks out of bad blood as the champion will have truly earned it, and their place in history will be secured. The final prediction as the days count down to bad blood, the WWE Universe is divided on who will emerge victorious. Roman Reigns, with his near-flawless record and unmatched dominance, is the safe bet. But AJ Styles, with his experience and unpredictability, could very well be the one to dethrone the tribal chief. Corey Graves, after carefully weighing the factors, offered his final prediction, this is going to be a war, no doubt about it. Roman has the momentum, the power, and the championship advantage. But there's something about AJ Styles, a hunger, a determination, that makes me believe he might just pull off the upset. If I had to choose, I'd say it's too close to call, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see a new champion crowned at bad blood. As the WWE Universe eagerly awaits this monumental clash, one thing is certain, bad blood will be a night to remember, and the match between Roman Reigns and AJ Styles could very well go down as one of the greatest in WWE history.